Uh, today our motto to come live was just to give an insight on the openings we have, then the opportunities what we have, how do we operate here, and what is the you know um, uh, uh, procedure we follow in White House Manpower. And uh, for that, um, I have um, most of my colleagues. I will introduce you later. And uh, first of all, to tell about uh, White House Manpower, uh, we have been uh, working in White House Manpower for last you know 15, 16 years. We started in 2007. And uh, now it's exactly 15 to 16 years. We have been specialized in IT and ITES. We work with uh, approximately 60 to 70 brands, both in IT and ITES. In most of the ITES, like uh, BPOs and international call centers, we are one of the top 10 consultancies, maybe top 5 or 10 uh, to be precise. Uh, we work with uh, brands like uh, we have Infosys, Accenture, 24-7, uh, JPMC, Ares, uh, Calpion, Omega, and many more to count, where we have our name in the company. We have been uh, the delivery partners as the number one partners in these companies, and we have been delivering on month on month from the last so many years. And we've been genuinely and hardworkingly, we have been doing our work. And with that, the credit goes to all our HRs who are associated with us and um, the uh, recruiters who have worked with us who already left the company or recruiters who are staying with us and uh, the, currently the recruiters who have been supporting from back end. So we, we thank each and everyone and the candidate especially who have walked in who believe White Horse Manpower in a, a very well and uh, the candidates uh, have uh, you know, told that we have been doing well and candidates have been messaging on YouTube you can see a lot of candidates messaging thank you for the job you are given various recruiters name they have mentioned Navya, Neha, Noor, Taj, Reena they have mentioned so many recruiters names so specifically when they are happy with these people they have been messaging so uh, we are into a trend where we would like to go ahead and make sure that we follow the same footsteps and in, in fact better than what we did. So for that, uh, you know, we are now having openings for uh, maybe various companies in IT. IT, we have huge number of openings. Uh, let me tell you honestly one thing. If there is no openings in other places, other consultancies, Whitehorse has got openings. Irrespective of whatever company it is, it is a BPO or an IT, I can assure you that we have openings. That's because of the credibility what we have uh, you know, developed with the companies and the name what we have got with the companies and the you know, output what we gave, we gave them on time to time. We have never missed our SLEs. 90% of the companies are really very happy with working with us. So my forecast for future is we would like to build Whitehorse into an organization maybe it is into a hundred crore company today we are maybe a just handful of maybe 25 to 35 or 40 people tomorrow i may be down the line after four to five years i would like to bring it into a workforce of 1000 plus come people so for that i request all the people who are you know, looking at this video or maybe will be watching this video in future or maybe will be forwarded to them. So I would appreciate them to support us in recruitment and I would ask them to come and join White Horse Manpower in recruiting or as a candidate or as a company. We would like you to help us in various uh, aspects of White Horse development. Our forecast for White Horse for last next maybe, maybe four or five years is to have approximately 100 companies and approximately 1,000 employees. So for that, we need extended support from all of you, the candidates, as well as the companies. And we would like to thank everybody for that. And now I would like to talk to my colleagues with regards to you know, the various companies they are handling. Uh, from left to right, I have uh, Taj on the you know, last, and we have Reena, then we have Noor, then we have Disha and myself, Ahmed, from White Horse Manpower. So I would like to you know, ask them to talk about what is there in their mind with regards to recruitment and what is the challenges they are facing with regards to the jo jobs, uh, giving jobs to the candidate. And I would like to tell them what is that they would look forward with the people or with the candidates. What is that they want to see and what is that they would like to in order to build this White Horse into a 1,000 employees company. So this is my assurance that if you 
build up as a 1000 employees company i'm sure that there's a lot of growth with everyone so i would uh, pass on my uh, no uh, phone to taj and maybe she can um, speak about the companies what she's handling and the openings what she has got uh, though there are no openings or people say it's a recession time i don't find a recession time in white horse manpower that thank god and thanks to everyone and thanks to taj also i'll give the phone she will carry over from there all right taj over to you uh, first of all uh, hi everyone uh, i am from white horse manpower uh, i am one of the team leader here uh, it's been eight years that I've been working as a recruiter here. Uh, initially, I started my career working as a recruiter and then I made my career uh, being as a team leader, working now currently as a team leader. Uh, I have gone through with so many candidates uh, here in uh, Whitehorse. I, we see so many ca uh, kind, various kind of a candidates uh, who walks in and uh, we also get the good references kind of uh, candidates as well. So we usually, uh, you know, uh, we recruit for companies, multiple companies like Infosys, Accenture, uh, 247, JP Morgan and many more companies. So it is like, you know, if the candidate uh, comes here and who, uh, who is just a graduate who is not aware of uh, how to attend the interview, we ask uh, we for an HR round. Uh, when it comes for the next round of interview, we brief them and then uh, for the last round of interview, we brief them. So initially, we do the screening and sourcing and, uh, you know, it's a very good experience uh, being uh, working for such a long time in Whitehorse. So Ivan, I would like to, you know, uh, welcome you anytime you need uh, help in getting into a job, please walk into Whitehorse Manpower. You can also log in to our website uh, if you want to know much more about uh, White Horse Manpower. That is uh, on our website called www.whitehorsemanpower.in and uh, that's our log, log on uh, website where you can log, log on to. And if you have any queries, if you want to get into an HR recruitment or getting into a BPO's, uh, if you are... Uh, Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. So uh, we are looking for someone who are graduates and uh, post graduates for the companies what time recruiting for. So we are uh, looking for someone who has got uh, minimum experience of uh, one year in any uh, technical support or non-technical as well. But that is going to be something from a BPO based background. It is going to be for an ITES profile. And uh, the skill set, what we are looking out for is excellent uh, communication skills. And coming to a technical skills uh, required year, they are looking for someone uh, who have got hands-on experience in Active Directory. Uh, also, who have got experience in uh, technical troubleshooting of uh, laptops, desktops, switchers, routers, modems, Office 365. Uh, and also who have got experience in live calls and live chats but that is going to be from an international voice based background only this is what exactly uh, our requirements are and uh, these designations uh, is something for an associate senior associate specialist SME and uh, team leader kind of a role so the salary uh, minimum starts from uh, 2.5 lakhs per annum and it goes up to 8.5 to 9 lakhs that is going to be for an atl kind of role so shifts it is going to be a uh, rotational shifts with two-way transport both the way cab facility will be provided from door to door step within the boundary areas that is within uh, 20 kilometer of radius and uh, the location it is going to be for bangalore Pune and Hyderabad so the age limit maximum it goes up to uh, 39 30 to 39 rounds of an interview you will be having a simple interview rounds for that we will help you out you'll be having a basic three rounds of an interview so, uh, first will be an HR that is self introduction round then you'll be having a communication skills round and operations round you can just uh, walk in uh, 
any time uh, to white horse manpower between uh, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. We will show you a help in getting a good job opportunities with any of the branded MNCs. And the companies what uh, I'm talking you about are for Infosys, Emphasis, Accenture, Concentrix Converges. I would love to help you out uh, in get, getting you pleased with any of the good MNCs. So what are you waiting for? You just walk in over here. We would love to help you out in getting job opportunities. I would like to uh, pass in the mic to my other colleague who will help you out uh, with a couple of other requirements so that uh, you can check if you are eligible for those requirements and uh, apply for those kind of a job. Thank you. Hi, good evening everyone. Uh, like I'm working in Whitehorse Manpower from 7 to 8 years. Uh, this is the very good place to work in Whitehorse Manpower. I like you guys to tell one thing. Uh, see, they are the person who is looking for the job in like day shift and they are looking for Saturday, Sunday fixed off. Uh, like we have openings with good companies like we have for Craft, Flat World, like Omega. But this is something into the medical billing, like uh, ambulance billing, hospital billing. It is into the medical coding as well. Here, we will have like Monday to Friday working. You will have Saturday, Sunday fixed off. And they will be having two-way cab as well. Like they will provide like pick and drop door to door. It will be there. We are looking for the like they are having openings like freshers, experience. This is something into the US healthcare medical billing process. It is into the account ER caller. ER caller is nothing, it is into the account receivable ER caller where we are into the uh, CMS, uh, we are into the CMS and uh, here you will be having uh, like the, the location, we have multiple locations like we have into the Pune, we have in Chennai, Coimbatore, Bangalore location. We will have like salary starts from uh, like 18,000, it goes up to till 45,000. It will be a fixed shift and uh, you will have two-way cab as well the locations it depends uh, like you uh, like it depends on the process itself the locations they'll be decided and weekly off will be there that is saturday sunday fixed off age between will be 18 years to 30 years so you guys can come to whitehorse manpower it's located in commercial street shivaji nagar you can uh, just log in to www whitehorsemanpower.n come here we will help you out because this is something into the good recruitment form where this is free recruitment form where we will not charge anything and we will give, give you the good placement as well so come here we will help you out and i'll just pass this to uh, pass this phone to my another uh, recruiter like where she will brief you about the different process uh, hi everyone, uh, my name is Disha and I'm uh, you know working in uh, White Horse Manpower and it's just been like you know couple of months uh, since I've uh, started working but I see I see myself you know uh, I have grown a lot here from knowing nothing uh, when I have joined uh, to you know have a good amount of knowledge in uh, screening sourcing the candidates into recruitment basically and uh, also about the BPO industry uh, and talking about the you know um, BPO industry jobs and everything uh, we are hiring for uh, like you know 30 plus companies and um, as my colleagues have already mentioned like we hire for 247 intelligent infosys emphasis accenture and couple of other companies we have not just got requirement for bangalore location but we have also got requirement for mumbai location hyderabad location pune location and um even if the candidates are will uh, you know in bangalore and are willing to relocate to like uh, the locations that i just mentioned we will uh, you know help you until you are joining the company until your training is going on we will keep in touch and we will make sure that uh, you know you uh, are going good in the company and we even help you, help you out if in, if in case there's any problem and uh, talking about the requirements, uh, you know, you uh, when talking about the other locations, we have got, uh, you know, joining bonus, we have got incentives and uh, we have got requirements into uh, customer service when talking about customer service who have good uh, knowledge in uh, BPO industry and in insurance, uh, all kinds of insurance basically. 
and the salary and we have also got uh, uh, you know uh, requirements in team leader position for a different location wherein uh, there is a good joining bonus so we make sure uh, that you know even if you want to relocate we are here to help you uh, you can directly walk into our office we make sure that until your documentation is done everything is you know smooth and uh, also talking about uh, the recruitment we uh, screen the candidates we source the candidates uh, we make sure that they you know they are eligible uh, you know to the respective uh, profile and then uh, you know we process the candidates so it's a good experience to in even if you feel like you're not able to uh, clear the rounds you can still walk in we brief you with all the rounds of interview we will in fact guide you through the rounds of interview and help you with all the rounds yeah so thank you and uh, you you are uh, free to walk in uh, to our uh, white horse manpower any time for any kind of query or requirement you can you can just uh, send a mail at white horse manpower and uh, we will help you out it's a free recruitment so you're all uh, you know more than welcome to uh, get into white horse manpower thank you i just pass on the mic yeah thank you uh, taj reena then noor and uh, disha uh pretty much you have given us the insight of what what is you know openings currently we have uh, in future we anticipate openings in medical billing may there will be huge billings then we'll anticipate openings in law of um, in the ai market that is the dot ai that artificial intelligence uh, maybe we'll have a lot of um, um, python related jobs and uh, we will have a lot of um, statistical related jobs then uh, we will have uh, a forecast with regards to bpos uh, it's a evergreen industry which will ne never die uh, with regards to bpos we will have huge number of openings uh, maybe uh, right now we are heading towards the election so i'm sure that um, because of that you know most of the companies have not given us the exact openings out so as the uh, election is over maybe we will start having pouring in with the lot of openings whether it can be tech mahindra or can be accenture or maybe infosys or maybe uh, many other companies who are waiting because when i spoke to these hrs they have told us that we are waiting for uh, the openings uh, no, to be released or maybe there are a lot of openings in hand but really maybe it's one of the reason that i uh, presume it maybe might not be right so uh, maybe uh, talking about the trend in the industry i can see that there's a huge potential for uh, you know most of us uh if we join the industry now down the line after 5 or 6 years i'm sure that there is a huge potential with all of us uh, which we can you know take it and which we can as well as give it the companies are waiting for people to join okay that one thing which i would like to tell from the candidates perspective is like i have seen candidates who have uh, shown no interest in way any kind of job uh you ask him when a candidate walks in you ask him about a job in voice he says i don't want you asking about a non voice he says i don't want but there he looks for an option i want a day shift right so the, the uh, and uh, the lay back attitude towards what we are heading towards today we will be dangerous for us because we will you know this will be grabbed by the ai see now you can see most of the telecalling and the calling industry is taken over by the artificial intelligence you can see all the banks which have uh, just ask you to you know um, check your account maybe you have a problem or you have no no problem or maybe uh, for example airtel icic bank they are having their artificial intelligence so today our candidates are not understanding that if we are not able to take these kind of opportunities which are there see if you are taking a non voice job i am sure or a voice job you never be in a voice job in all your life you are there in this industry for next 4 or 5 years in the noise voice or non voice industry then later on you might be a manager there or with that kind of experience you might be a uh, you uh, know um, one of the entrepreneurs or whatever it is but we see with the candidates that they do not want us to um, uh, put them in the process or the jobs whichever it is but my suggestion to all of you is is if at all you are looking for a job today you grab the opportunity as a graduate whatever job you get see uh, if to this um, you know i can add some reasons of the colleges or maybe training institutes which are you know giving them a high um, remuneration expectation or maybe colleges are teaching them that you know this bpo job is doesn't have an, a growth or maybe a um, call center job doesn't have a growth or uh, maybe a uh, uh, hr job in a recruiting consultancy is not a job i have seen the candidates themselves talking 
and telling that my my teacher or my lecturer told me don't work for a call center so if you don't work for a call center how can your you know communication improve see our school or college can give us to an extent they can give us a communication but our job gives us the complete communication but we are not able to realize that today we have to realize saying that my job is whatever i get in the beginning see if you get a job in a call center in the beginning i am sure that this job is the best job for you or you get in a recruitment that job is the best job because from there you going to take it forward we do not see that future we see the future that today itself i want a non voice process all right today if i would like to work for a day shift today itself i would like to work in a place which is near to my house or people who are there staying a little distance and far they do not want to travel or if they don't want to try if they want to travel they will see i have recruited various recruiters these recruiters come uh, for a, a day or so and they find the distance they find things they find you know the various aspects uh, in uh, the job they have a problem but if at all you are going to complain on everything where is that we are standing so we appreciate any candidate who walks in today as a fresher or an experienced candidate first of all look into what he has got as a competency or a capacity he should make sure that he is able to sustain in the industry for the first two years remember if you sustain in the industry or in in a company for one week you are going to stay back for three weeks if you stay back in a company for three week three months or uh, three months you are going to stay back for another six months if you say for six you are going to stay back for next two years this is the actual mentality what we have to develop if at all we don't do this we are heading towards a disastrous situation as a candidate because i have visited maybe i think um, i have had more than 650 job fairs i speak to candidates every year maybe 10000 candidates every candidate has got an only a common factor i want an easy job i want a sitting job or if they don't want uh, you know don't want this kind of job they want a job which is near to their house i have traveled to uh, hubli dharwad kerala or uh, ask me where we have not traveled or uh, maybe in calcutta we have traveled but the candidate needs a job nearby his house the candidate needs a day shift candidate needs a e, maybe um, um 20 to 25000 salary as a fresher and the candidate needs a easy job my parents want me to do an easy job if your parents want to do a easy job how can you be a next google or how can you create a next google or how can you create a next microsoft how can you do a next reliance how can you do a next tata so we are heading towards a society where we want to be a little lethargic in our approach let's change the approach i would you know ask all the uh, parents the colleges um the entrepreneurs who are you know um, 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 generating this kind of people or generating this kind of uh, you know employees or generating this kind of educated youths to come forward and accept the reality of life that what is my job so my job is that whatever i get in the first one or two years is my basic you know stepping stone or my foundation if i don't have my proper foundation i am sure that today i will be in a deep 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 problem in my future you might not see uh, i'm i mean to say deep problem means you you might not have that growth you might not reach that uh, you know uh, um uh, you know height where you want or you might not earn that kind of amount of money so you will be uh, satisfied with the amount of salary uh, and you will be staying back and you'll never grow you will have one car one house and, and a wife and two children that's enough so that is not enough we are you know uh, if at all we'll take the challenge today our challenge should be that we should make an entrepreneurial uh, you know um, uh, step forward we should every person sitting here i tell uh, my colleagues that you do whatever you do from your heart bottom of your you don't like it don't do it because if at all you do it with your you know just somebody's force you will not do the job you will make sure that you will make lot of mistakes yes that mistake which you made should be corrected and should be followed as a stepping stone but that we don't do the mistake is considered to be a mistake and they say i cannot do it the loose uh, hope so we do not want that hope to be lost so with this i can i can say that we as white horse manpower in the society we would like to create 
we would like to create and we, are, we would like to make uh, this society into a place where we can recruit people, we can make them and give them a career and I want people for myself in White Horse Manpower. See as I spoke in the beginning, I want right now I'm running out running with uh, someone around 30 to 40 recruiters so tomorrow maybe down the line after maybe 2024 or 2025 20, I would like to have 150 or 100 recruiters over four or five years I want to have a thousand recruiters how do I get it so we get it through my people who if who comes here and loves the job and stays back so he has to make sure that his job is being, you know, accepted. He, he has to do the job to the best of his ability, to the best of his competency. But we, for that, we need to do the job by very, very, very cautiously and choose. If you do not like a job, do not go, to, for, go for that interview. Most of the people just carry away and they come with their friends. They just say, my friend says, I don't want to join. So he doesn't want to join. I also will not join. So let's not follow that trend. We let's follow a trend. Let's create a you know stepping stone today that we will we will we will make sure that we will change. Friends, uh, this online session or live session is just not for the sake of that I should get candidates. This is a message which I want to give it to my colleges, as I said, my schools, my training institutes, my people who supply the uh, you know candidates or the candidates who are walking in. Today's opportunity is tomorrow's benefit so if you don't make use of today the opportunity i am sure that there will be somebody else who is going to be maybe from us or uk or germany or australia and indian is supposed to be a best employee best worker you you go uk you go to america you go us uh, anywhere you go to canada or, or saudi arabia or dubai the main people are there is the dominating people are only indians why are we only to for work for them or are we here the same amount of people who are there in america who are staying there they could have come here and they would have you know built an empire here and our youth would have got a job this is what i ask all my you know um, maybe people who are working abroad or people who are you know um, having a lot of money who are you know being uh, sitting in the uh, middle east or sitting in the uk or us let them come to india let's let's let them open a big uh, firm let them employ people and let them educate them see what they have see people who are there in uk us they are very well disciplined very well you know and and their job uh, they have that very well uh, you know um, knowledge about the jobs and they know what to do so why not they come and teach our youth the same thing so if if they come and teach us i'm sure that we will have a good society we will have a good you know um, place to work and we will save the environment and we will save the country we'll save the earth we'll make sure that you know we will have good employees with this, I would like to thank uh, everyone who is watching this and uh, maybe I would like to uh, just ask my colleagues if they have anything to share with or uh, which they have left over from where they have started. I am sure that um, he has to say, maybe I will uh, pass it on to anyone. So about any company which you left or maybe anything which you found, uh, maybe candidates are making a mistake or maybe uh, you found uh, which is not um, you know, actually according to what um, you found it. So, which you, according to your uh, you know, company's taste, you didn't get. Maybe you can tell the candidates that this is what I found. So, I would appreciate the candidate to change in the way. So, maybe any one of you who has looked into it. So, have you had any experience, uh, Disha? So, if you had any experience, maybe I think you can talk and you can tell. Or oh, maybe a small instant uh, that you can uh, not mention the candidate's name or yeah. anything or company's name. Uh, hi, uh, Disha here again. As uh, Sir mentioned, uh, we have all uh, you know. We are also looking out uh, for people uh, for our own uh, company for uh, recruitment. And as I uh, mentioned uh, initially, that uh, it's been a couple of months since I started working here. And um, and uh, to be very honest, when I started, I had. Uh, no knowledge I had uh, about you know anything basically like recruitment or a BPO industry or in fact uh, even about the companies uh, there are like so many companies that I uh, never even had heard the name uh, before so I what I suggest personally is um, this is a good place uh, you know to start when if you like talking to people or if you like recruiting uh, if you want to get into uh, something uh, say into recruitment into uh, uh, IT recruitment or something this is a good place to start you can just uh, like you know walk in uh, here and attend the interviews um, the uh, you know aura here the uh, you know people here are very uh, like uh, helping uh, when I joined they were uh, like you know almost everyone helped me I um, 
was talking to everyone all the senior uh, recruiters or uh, you know who have already spoken here they have helped a lot so you don't have to worry if in case you are a like you know fresh or and you want to start your career um, in recruitment you can just uh, walk in and uh, attend the interviews you can even uh, try getting into white horse uh, manpower so yeah and Uh, yeah, uh, hi again, Taj here. I would like to tell freshers that, uh, see, it is uh, here, I would like everyone to, you know, if someone who is looking out for a job, uh, do not think that, uh, you know, BPO, it doesn't have uh, a career where uh, you have to, you know, if you get into a BPO where there is no uh, a good career, uh, nothing as such, because someone who start uh, working in BPO who doesn't taste what is an uh, BPO all about, uh, they will not know how the work environment is all about because it is your career what you have to decide. And uh, you know, then when you start working initially, af after having some experience later, uh, you can improve your communication. You can uh, be a good person if you want to get work as a you know any senior executive levels might be might be as a IT QA, ITs, um, any other domain. No, no matter. It's only at the specific um, domain which they would be looking out for. They can get into any other job. Uh, just is within being the company you're talking about. Within, the within the company, being a jobless, uh, it is the time where you have to start your career. There are some questions also where uh, people, uh, some people have asked, do you have a day shift or not? So maybe you can. Uh, uh, yes, we do have a day shift. Uh, if someone wants to work uh, into a day shift, we have openings for a day shift in our and company. Then there is transport, there is uh, along that is for uh, day shift. We have openings for recruitment. Uh, that is for our own consultancy who want to start their careers. Uh, who is? It's not uh, minded that the person should have experience into a recruitment. Uh, you can walk into our consultancy. We will train you on this, how this is the recruitment all about. Uh, for a week, we would put you into the training and how this, uh, you know, how can, how you could be a good recruitment, a recruiter. Uh, later, you will know how, how is the company all about. The companies, uh, you can know about it. We have for day shift, we have for night shifts. Uh, if someone who is, uh, you, know, you know, maybe doing their courses, uh, want the weekends off, uh, they can still work for BPOs and get uh, weekends off and do their courses also. Uh, that is what I suggest to everyone that, you know, uh, to start their careers into a BPO, someone who is looking out for a job into a recruitment, please walk in and subscribe to our channel, White Horse Manpower. Anytime you need our help, please log on uh, to our website and uh, call on the numbers uh, which is given on the screen. Anytime we are there to help you out, uh, you can get into us. But, uh, there's a question one of the uh, candidates asked. Do you have virtual interviews? I am an outstation candidate. Do you have some virtual, uh, um, you know, rounds for that? So the candidate has asked. Uh, yes, uh, we do have uh, virtual interview rounds. So all the rounds will be happening virtually. Once you get selected, you are once you are complete select only for the joining, you have to come to Bangalore. And not only in Bangalore, we do recruit for uh, as I have mentioned earlier for Hyderabad, Pune, Mumbai, these locations. So the, uh, you are uh, if you are in any part of um, not only in Bangalore, any part of India, you can just uh, uh, log on to our website www.whitehorsemanpur.in and just uh, click on. The webs, you can uh, check for the uh, requirements what we have not only for uh, in the particular question, location. Uh, does JP Morgan hire uh, freshers? Well, uh, not for now, but yes, uh, they do. Uh, in fact, but not for now, because uh, uh, they are looking for someone who has got a good amount of work experience for as if now with the current requirements. Any other questions, sir? So we have. Um, what is the age limit for uh, any job in a BPO has uh, been uh, questioned by one of the candidates? See, that's a quite good question. Uh, will be asked by most of the candidates uh, to us. Uh, first thing is minimum would be 18 plus. Okay, yeah. below 18 is not the thing. And maximum age limit, some companies might goes up to 35 or some companies goes up to 38, 39. And the uh, way some companies, uh, uh, it, they might hire above 50 plus as well, as well, if the candidate is healthy enough. What is the maximum salary for an experienced candidate? So one of the questions. 
uh, see for maximum pay uh, it might vary based on their uh, designation what designation they are applying for a job uh, especially for an senior executives or a senior associate that kind of a level max max it goes up to 6 lakh someone uh, who has got higher designation for a lateral profiles uh, such as team leaders managers and all it goes between uh, 8 lakhs up to uh, up to 14 to 15 lakhs depending on the uh, company's hierarchy as well uh, the salary varies and moreover depending on their last round ctc itself they'll be getting a decent hike i'm a fresher and uh, do i get an it job is a question for one of the candidates see you might get an it job but with the mnc's any companies uh, with an especially an it based companies over there they are seeking right now for someone who has got a hands on experience so mainly most of the freshers what they are doing is they are starting up the career uh, through an a bpo at, that is an it es industry later on down the line after a couple of months okay there will be enough an igps internal job postings and all within the company you can apply for an igp and you can move down uh, into your co domain very easily these this is the most uh, thing what okay, the freshers are doing question. do you hire uh, uh, hr recruiters uh, i'm a fresher do you hire uh, Yes, uh, yes, we do. We do hire for HR recruiters. That is for both IT and non-IT. The training will be provided, and it is a free of cost training. You can walk into White Horse Manpower. I'll be here. I'll help you out on regarding to it. Right. There's another question, which is, um, uh, what are the technical openings for freshers? So your uh, technical talking about as I have uh, uh, explained it earlier uh, that they are for uh, someone who has got a good technical knowledge mainly uh, from a technical based background that is uh, B B Tech uh, B S C in computer science and uh, B C uh, these kind of a technical is what exactly we are looking out for yes we have got uh, requirements into a technical profile but the profile it is not going to be in an uh, hardcore I T profile anything as such it is going to be for an I T help desk or service help desk kind of a role right and what's the maximum salary for a fresher one of the uh, uh, can you just ask what's the maximum salary for a fresher you offer okay see well, minimum i would say it starts from 14500 with any company maximum it goes up to 20 to 23000 as well that is the take home i'm talking about uh, not the ctc so there's one of the candidates asking do you have saturday sunday off uh yeah there are companies who are in fact offering saturday sunday fixed week off that is going to be uh, mostly for an a us based processes which uh, which mostly it will be in a us that is going to be a night shifts with saturday sunday fixed week off is what you can expect i am working in any other domain uh, can any other domain people uh, apply for a bpo job is the question is one of the candidates yes you can but wherein uh, we are looking for uh, someone uh, who has got a good communication skills mainly if you have got a good communication skills you can surely apply for an uh, bpo job or an, into an ites your experience uh, some companies they might get consider some companies they might not but we will help you out on regarding to that case so don't need to worry with that uh, there is one more question saying uh, one miss nancy says that uh, what is the age limit to join white house manpower <laughs> well uh, here it goes up to 40 as well 40 plus 2 but if the candidate is healthy as i mentioned earlier we uh, do hire above 40 plus over here for an hr profile right and there's one more question with um, another candidate saying that how many days training do you provide for a hr as a fresher as a fresher you'll be having a minimum 15 days of training and it's a complete uh, uh, free of cost your pay starts after uh, 15 days of a training period All right, Nancy says that I am a fresher uh, as in uh, HR, but five years other experience. So, what can I do? You can surely walk in over here. We would love to help you out in getting placed over here, and moreover, we will help you out uh, with a good training so that uh, you can just uh, start up your career into an HR profile. Right, and uh, there's one more question saying that I am looking for a job which has got fixed shift and Saturday Sunday off. So, where do I go for? Yes, like as I have mentioned to you earlier, you can walk into White Horse. We have got a number of companies who are, in fact, hiring for someone who has got a fixed shift with fixed Saturdays and a week off. Uh, we would love to help you out in that case. Right, and what is the uh, technical support salary, uh, which is the for um, technical support voice? 
highest salary, maximum salary is the question here. Maximum pay, it goes uh, like as I mentioned you earlier, that uh, salary may vary based on the resignation. So if you are looking for a senior executive kind of a level, that is going to be in technical support level one and level two. I am talking about it goes up to six six point five lakhs. So something like TL or SME and above such kind of a levels, it goes up to uh, seven point five to nine lakhs. Right. So we have nine minutes more. So there are some more questions which are to be answered. Uh, yes, they say that um, I am from outstation and are you ready to hire me as a HR recruiter? Yes. So uh, like as uh, we uh, and my colleagues have mentioned earlier, telephonic virtual rounds will be happening. Everything will be done virtually. Once you get selected, uh, you have to just uh, relocate over here. Okay, in and around uh, nearby to our location. All right. There's one more question which uh, I would like to ask you. Like, what is the growth aspect you find in uh, your recruitment company? You've been working for so long. So, what is the growth aspect uh, they find? That's the question uh, in with one of the candidates also. Okay. Uh, see, working for so long, uh, the first thing I would like to uh, tell you is uh, being an uh, post graduate. Uh, the colleges so uh, they doesn't teach us ki what exactly uh, the like you know outside uh, working outside is what how exactly um, to interact with the people and uh, the main thing is uh, when I started working over here I uh, was knowing nothing and um, now I have become a team leader over here okay working for uh, several these uh, companies like an Infosys, Accenture, HSBC and all. So while uh, uh, being in postgraduate, uh, the colleges didn't teach us ki, uh, what kind of a market outside is. They just taught us that uh, you just uh, have an ad admission uh, in post-graduation, okay, uh, do this post-graduation, you will get a job, we will help you out uh, in uh, getting placed with uh, any of the good uh, companies with a good salary package and that to a uh, higher salary package uh, that we uh, were expecting at the earlier stages of our after our uh, post graduation but then after uh, i started looking for a job okay uh, we came to know that okay they are uh, uh, several companies in the market that to other uh, mncs or if we talk about not only in hr domain any other profile also the pay minimum it starts from 15 to 16000 itself for freshers but our expectations are really very high Okay, being and uh, graduates and post graduates. That's so that's don't a, fall for this. Sorry for that. Um, yeah. That was the last question. We are running out of time. Uh, this last uh, question you may answer is Can I apply for multiple companies on the same day in your office? Uh, yes, absolutely. Why not? Uh, see, once you walk in over here, we don't give you uh, an option of only one company. We will give you an option of uh, several companies so that you can attain the interview simultaneously uh, with the different companies and eventually all the rounds will be happening same day. It is going to be only one day interview procedure. So no, we won't ask you to wait for a long time like for a weeks or a days as such. So do not worry with that. We will help you out uh, with all your interview rounds same day itself. Right. Thank you so much, Rina. So I would like I appreciate you. that you have taken your time to give us. So I will um, maybe to sum it up. Uh, I would like to tell you uh, what openings do we have right now. Uh, uh, it's mentioned in the uh, website www.whitehorsemanpower.in. Uh, to begin with, uh, I see here the openings uh, as a team leader or assistant manager, international BPO, then fresh. Uh, graduates uh, for domestic and international call centers. Then uh, I see here AR caller for denial management. Then uh, we find uh, uh, freshers for UK, UK, US shift, Saturday, Sunday off. Then HR recruitment uh, posting I see here. Then uh, we see uh, Google technical voice support uh, job. Uh, we have openings. Uh, then we see customer support uh, collections banking voice process. And then uh, we see uh, BPO technical support for uh, Microsoft SharePoint or Microsoft you know, um, um, Teams. So we find have that openings, and uh, the last but not the least, uh, you know, we have openings uh, for um, a voice uh, non non voice chat support in some of the companies. So friends, uh, this was uh, a, a very nice event for us. Uh, we really enjoyed uh, answering uh, the queries as well as uh, you know we were very happy talking about you know our own uh, company, and we were um, you know uh, able to. Uh, maybe we are able to deliver according to what you expected. So if there is anything, you can mail us or you can message us and uh, maybe what we left today or maybe what uh, we uh, couldn't uh, cover today. I'm 
sure that um, as the time goes, we will start uh, you know, ourselves uh, correcting ourselves, and maybe in the next session, we should be able to uh, you know, give you the uh, more information about uh, the rest of the things what you asked. And uh, in the meanwhile, uh, you may watch uh, White Horse Manpower Channel, where uh, we are more informative about the jobs and the you know, rest of the things. So we appreciate uh, all, all your time and maybe all uh, the people who worked here. And uh, maybe you uh, know you have to make sure that you uh, know uh, next time if anybody is um, has got any uh, things to say, so maybe we can uh, tell. So anybody from the back end also have anything you can ask? Maybe back end. So you just check any back end. You have any questions? Javed, do you have anything? Okay, right. Uh, she's got one uh, question to answer. Okay. Okay. That, uh, there are many candidates who ask like how to give the interview because they are the freshers. They don't know how to give the interviews. Guys, if you want to give the interview, just go to the YouTube, put White Horse Manpower because we have mentioned in the YouTube everything how to uh, like give the interview, how to speak to the uh, HRs from first like from HR like H round to the end like for the HR and the uh, like from the last till end of the HR rounds and the percent and the operations round. Everything we have mentioned in YouTube because there, there are many candidates to ask the question to me like how to give the interview video we, we don't know to speak to the hrs like how to speak so please go to the uh, like youtube just mention white horse manpower we have mentioned everything about the processes and we have mentioned about the interviews how to give everything you can just check and you can go for the www.whitehorsemanpower.in we have mentioned in that all as right, well. there's an important question which has been asked by uh, hafsa beg uh, and she says uh, do you provide offer letters and relieving letters yes we do provide offer letters and relieving letters uh, with regards to uh, white horse manpower also we provide so uh, people who have who leave without information i'm sure none of the company provides offer letters and relieving letters if you worked genuinely for and given your relieving time you will get an offer letter and relieving letter from any of the Dharma company. You have uh, for tele, uh, uh, team leaders. Do you have openings for team leaders? Yes, we do have openings for team leaders for technical as well as non technical Bangalore, Pune, and Hyderabad, uh, especially for technical people. And Mumbai also we have. And uh, we have. And there's another question somebody asked us um, uh, Do you have openings uh, for uh, you know, trainers and all that? Yes, uh, the openings for trainers. So you have to send your resume to the uh, email ID which is provided in the uh, description. We will provide whitehousehr team at gmail.com or maybe other uh, uh, you know, uh, email ID which you have provided. So this was the uh, uh, session what we, we thought of it, friend, maybe uh, as a questions to cover. So we changed the topics. So last but not the least, I would like to thank all the candidates and I would like to thank uh, Rajiv who is uh, helping us. And I would like to thank uh, all the people on the back end, people who are, you know, in White Horse Manpower back end, people who are helping us in the back end. So maybe you may, you may show them also like the, my, our back end people who are taking care. So there are, there are other people also, maybe. Uh, so I would uh, really like to thank all these people. So with that, uh, we would like to, you know, um, say, not conclude, say that have a beginning again for the next session. So we are preparing for the next section. Thank you so much. And uh, God bless you all. Uh, last but not the least, don't forget to vote on 10th. We have 10th May 2023. Don't forget to vote. Your right to vote, your right to elect a right government. So do not, do not, do not, do not miss out the voting. Though you are busy, so vote. Vote for the country. That's all. I don't know which party, but vote for the country. Right? I appreciate your vote. Maybe uh, I, I take it as one one maybe one thing I would like to tell. Uh, you can take down the email ID whitehorse whitehorse at gmail dot com. Whoever has voted, send me the photograph of the your nail or on your finger. I will make sure that I will maybe uh, uh, maybe give you a small gift or whatever is possible with me, so I can send you a gift or maybe a, a thank you letter or whatever it is. So uh, mail me whitehorse at gmail dot com. That's what. Thank you so much. Let's vote on 10th. Thank you so much. Thank you, Rajiv.